Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and on this plot here I grow my own organic fruit, vegetables and cut flowers and today I've built myself a potting bench out of some pallets and so I'm going to show you how I did that. So first of all what you're going to need to start with is a pallet. You're going to need to separate it down the middle. You can either use a jigsaw or you can use a handsaw to do that and with this pallet here we've got two sets of slats. We've got slats on the top and then we've got another set of slats underneath and what we've done is we've got some fence paint and we've used it to paint the tops and the bottom of this because they're going to be in contact with the ground and the lid. I will paint the middle section but we ran out of time yesterday so we just did the tops and the bottom and then what um, that will do because this is untreated wood it will stop it from rotting in the weather and it will mean that it will last longer outside. So the next thing you're going to need to do is put the top on and we had this plank of wood left over and it's about one meter four in length and um, so each one is one meter four so it was two meters eight and we've just cut it in half and then where you're going to need to put these is they've got the uprights here and you're going to need to put this one so the central portion of the plank is directly above the upright support and then on the other side there's another support here and you're going to need to put this plank here so that the central portion here is over the central point here and then what we've done is we've got some long screws I'll show you those so we are using these really long screws here so the longer the better really because it adds more rigidity to it if you have a look this goes all the way down here into the wood and so what we're doing is we're getting a drill and we're drilling some pilot holes through the center of this piece here and then we're also drilling a pilot hole through the center here and then we're drilling this down until it just pokes out the bottom and then what we're doing is that we're then placing it over the pilot hole that we've already dri drilled through this part and then we're drilling it all the way down and what that means is that you get a, a screw that's nicely positioned in the centre of this plank here and it will prevent it from splitting so I'll show you that now and because I'm not very good at measuring the centre of things what I'm doing is I'm going to drill a pilot hole in the centre of this bit here so go all the way down And this is so that when you put your screw in here, it doesn't split the wood or otherwise it can split down the centre of the plank and you don't want that to happen. And then what you need to do is you need to get this plank here and you need to line it up with the pilot hole that you've just drilled and then go into the centre and then drill down. And then what you need to do is you need to change this for a larger one and this is so as you can see the top of the screw's got this bigger bit here and if you put this pile this in right at the top you only countersink it a couple of sort of about sort of that sort of depth so that when you put your screw in it sits nice and flat like this one here so what you do is just drill a small hole and then that's it. And then what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to drill this in. Now for this bit, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the drill bit so that I can use um, the crosshead to screw it in. Well, I'm gonna move this plank over slightly so that I can drill it down. And then what I'll do is I will then line up with the hole that I've drilled underneath here. So I'll drill this down until I can just see it poking out the bottom and then I'll line it up with this hole and drill it down and it means that I'll get a nice straight line with my screw all the way down. So now what you need to do is line up the screw that's poking out with the hole, the pilot hole that you've just drilled, put it down and then drill down. So you drill it down till it's nice and flat like this and then your screws in and now we're going to start on the next stage so now what we've done is we've added a shelf halfway down the um, potting table 
and these were just some off cuts of wood that we had so they were roughly the same length as the top and we've just put them halfway down and this will help stop the structure from rocking from side to sides or backwards and forwards as it adds a little bit of rigidity to it and the other thing it will be really handy for me to be able to store things on this shelf here so what we've done is we've just put some screws in and screwed them into these bits of wood here so that they're nice and secure and we've put a screw on this side and then another screw on the outside and because these were old bits of wood this one here has got a bit of a crack in it but that won't matter because I'm just using this as a, a shelf to sort of put pots and other bits that I might need for potting on. So the next job is to create a top for my potting table and what I've actually decided is that this is going to be the back of my bench and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this round and then I'll show you what I'm going to do on this. So what we're going to do for the top is we're going to create a little table here. Now I have a little potting tray that I use and I use that to put my compost in and my pots so that I can pot it up nicely without the compost going everywhere. So I'm creating a little area for me to be able to put that tray on the top. So I've got this plank here and I've screwed it in at the bottom and it's got a little bit of a lip so that the tray won't fall off and then I've done the same thing at the back. I've got this plank here and I've put a couple of screws along so that I can now put my tray on top. So this is my nice little potting tray that I've got. I put it on and then I'm going to get this plank here. I'm going to put it up against the tray nice and snug and then I'll drill it in and then I'll be able to put my tray inside so that it doesn't slide about when I'm potting on and then I'll use these other little off cuts that I've got here and I'll create a nice little workbench for myself on the side. So now that this plank's in, this is nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere and it's easy for me to slide in and out from the front. And so that's really nice and secure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these planks and I'm just going to space them out nice and evenly along the top here. So I've spaced my planks out along the top here and these have already got some holes and where they line up with where the planks are underneath I'm going to use those holes. I'm just going to hammer in some nails because I've got some nails from when I took the pallets apart so I'll reuse those and that will create a nice little workbench here next to my little potting tray which will be really handy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these nails into the top of my table and I've already done most of them. I've got the last one to do here so I'll show you that. I've put them in with a row along the top and then a row of the nails along the bottom and then this is the last one. So what you do is just get your hammer, tap it gently and then once you've sort of got it in and it's going straight down then you can hit it much harder. nice and flush. That's my table, very very sturdy. So this is my finished potting shed here and it's turned out really well. You can use this tray here and take it out, tip out any compost, give it a wash and also store it over winter. And then over here I've got this handy little area that I can put my seedlings on and then keep my pots my gardening gloves, things like that. And then underneath, I've got another shelving area. And this is really handy because I'll be able to just store all my pots and things like that underneath there. So I'm really, really pleased with this. I think it looks really good. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I'm also on Instagram and I post pictures of things that I'm doing down on the plot there and my Instagram account is Angela's Kitchen Garden. Take care and stay safe. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!